Jennifer, tell me, how do you intend to spend your holidays? I don't know yet, Daddy. Why don't you come for an internship in the company? Which company? Your company? Yes, of course. Thanks, Daddy, but I don't want to work now. You see, it's not really like you are working. It's just a kind of a constructive way of spending your holidays. I have a better way of spending my holidays. I want to volunteer in an organization working for people with disabilities. What? I want to help them. Do you want to become one of them? I'm not happy working on a two legs. Daddy, it's not by their making. What about you, Linda? You know that. I'm very busy with my computer lessons. This should be a plan, right? So when girls don't want to work. Anyway, yeah. I don't want to see you associating with those mystical people. Please. We are at table. Leave the girls alone. Daddy, these people are humans like us. They need our support. They need our comfort. They need our help. And besides, we work when the time comes. When the time comes. Okay, there's no problem. Your mother has connected with you before. Go ahead and do whatever pleases you. So 
So, Lady Peace, what can I do for you this time around? Mr. Pelame, we've been talking over the phone several times. So I've decided to meet you so that we can talk face to face. Yeah, I can see that, Lady Peace. Before I go to what brought me here, Mr. Pelame, I want to make a point. Mr. Pelame, this is public institution that's supposed to receive everybody inclusively. But to my greatest surprise, your office is right at the fifth floor. Look at me, Mr. Pelabe. How do you expect me to claim staircase? I was practically carried up here. So what do you want me to do about that? There is no ramp. You can, you can re renovate the whole structure by building a ramp where it is due. Or you build a lift that can lift people right to the fifth floor. Better still, you can carry your office downstairs so that everybody will have easy access to your office. Okay, there's no problem. I'll see what I'll do about that. Now, I'm going to what brought me here. Mr. Pelabe, I learned that you have employed hundreds of workers. To be more precise, I have 620 employees in my company. Oh yes, but unfortunately, among those people, there is no one living with disability. Here is a file that contains series of some people living with disability. They are very, very competent. Go through the file. I'm sure you have two or three that you will employ them and give them job description that ties with their disability. For your information, the government will reduce your taxes because you are helping the state to do its work. That's a new point, please. I know you are a very strange person in this company. You know the type of businesses I'm into. I have hotels, I have restaurants, I have bakeries, and I'm into construction and real estate. So tell me, where do you think I can fit in these people? Mr. Pelabe, disability is not inability. It happened to me as it could have happened to you. It is the duty of all citizens to see to it that we build the capacity of these people so that they can be able to put food on their tables. These people are well educated. We have accountants, financial secretaries, marketers, cooks and secretaries. Mr. Felabe, nobody applied to become a disabled. Okay. I'm sorry I'll about it. Just go through the CV and meet them downstairs and talk with them. Have a nice time. Okay. I wish you send them baby peace. Ladies and gentlemen, I just went through your CVs presented to me a few minutes ago by Lady Peace. I must admit, you people are really qualified. Your credentials are good and very impressive. But as you can see, I don't have a space for people like you in my company. People like us. Yes, I mean the disabled. You see, if I employ people like you, you only help me slowing down the activities of my company. So you people can go home and try something else. That is what everybody is saying, sir. What is wrong with us? 
It's blood that runs in our veins too, you know. Do you want to tell me that we are just good for food and charity? No, 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 no. Don't get me wrong there. What I'm simply trying to say is that, looking at your physical condition, if I employ you people, you people will be more of a liability than an asset. But it's not like you people are completely useless, you know. I've seen shoemenders who are disabled. You people can also go and try that. Or better still, you go and learn how to knit dresses. Those are the kind of activities I think are suitable for people like you. So people can live. Mr. Benjamin. So you are telling us that white club jobs are main jobs for the able people. Mr. Pelabi, you are a wicked man. You are a wicked man, Mr. Pelabi. You are a very wicked man. A very wicked man, Mr. Pelabi. You are a wicked man, Mr. Pelabi. You are a wicked man. I said you are a wicked man, Mr. Pelabi. You are a wicked man, Mr. Pelabi. You are a, I said you are a wicked man. You are a wicked man, Mr. Pelabi. You are a wicked man. You are a wicked man, Mr. Pelabi. You are a wicked man. Wicked man, Mr. Pelabi. Place. Get me the apple now. What's your problem? You want it. I want it. You really want it? I did it. Okay, catch it. <laughs> oh, baby, come on, get the apple for me. Uh, come on, come on. Love you, girl. Yeah. So, why don't you eat the apple? Put it down. What's the problem? Why don't you want to come to the house? It's not like I don't want to come to the house. I just think maybe it's not the right time. When is the right time? We have been together for about a year now. My parents have to know you. And besides, I'm tired of playing this hide and seek game. Baby, I, I understand. I know. I've told my parents I want them to meet my boyfriend. You told them? Yes, and they want to meet you. Okay. I'll make our time and come to the house. <laughs> That's my mom. <mother>. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Parents, dad, mom, this is Smith, my boyfriend. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, boy. You're welcome. Thank you, mom. Young man, sir, what do you say regarding this again? Smith, sir. Jennifer, you want to tell me that of all those boys out there, this is the only one you think is good enough for you? Daddy. Zip your mouth. Smith. Sir. What do you do in life? So I'm, I'm a student. I have a degree in journalism and mass communication. So I'm in for my master's this year. Journalism. Yes. I'm not surprised. 
Because looking at your physical condition, I think that is the best thing you can do. Sir, not at all. It's not about the physical condition. I always have journalism as a passion since childhood. And what other passion do you think you can have? You don't have any other option anyway. Given that it would have been impossible for you to do something else. <laughs> Nothing is impossible, sir. But those who believe where there is a will, there is a way. Yes, there are impossibilities. And you ending up with my daughter is one of them. Smith. Yes, sir. Now leave my house. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to see you anywhere near my daughter again. Leave! Jennifer! Jennifer! Come back here. Afternoon. Don't you know you just spread my afternoon by this your greetings? And where do you think you're going to? I just want to check if just wanted what? She's not at home. Learn from today. I don't want to see you near my sister again. Besides, we don't need people like you in our family. Look at your leg. We need able and not disabled men. So you are not her type. Eboa. Can I even walk like you? Wait, let me try. Is it going? Is it going? Nonsense. I don't want to see you anywhere around my sister. this early morning. We are waiting for you, Mr. Pelabe. Waiting for me? What for? Mr. Pelabe. Why are you so wicked, Mr. Pelabe? You're a very wicked man, Mr. Pelabe. A man so full of yourself. I have no feeling for others, Mr. Pelabe. Do you mean that upon all the cities I gave you, there is no one good enough for your company, Mr. Pelabe? Lady Peace, I earlier told you I really want to employ them. But, look at you. Their physical condition is a barrier. Before I continue, Mr. Pelabe, you are more than a barrier to them. You are more than a barrier! Lady Peace. How will you feel if you are in their condition? Lady Mr. Peace. Well, fortunately for me, I'm not in their condition. And I will never be. Uh, if you look my, you can see I have a long journey ahead of me. Uh, Lady Peace, uh, how this I use it for a taxi fee. Teach us to fish, Mr. Pelabe, rather than giving us chicken change. You are pampering me and sending me away, Mr. Pelabe. Remember, what goes wrong comes around. Yeah. 
as you are up there, Mr. Pelabe, mind the way you treat people down here. Because on your way down, you will meet the same people and they will pay you by your coin. Thank you very much, Lady Peace. But fortunately for me, I will never be on my way down. The work you have just done has beaten my imagination. I think you don't know the value of money. Of course, I still need the money. Mr. Perabe, don't you have a heart? Don't you have a human feeling? Why are you treating us like this? Eh, hey, Mr. Perabe, why are you really treating us like this? It's not fair, Mr. Perabe. Mommy, let's go. Stupid rich man. <laughs> Nonsense. I've seen all type of things in this world. Jennifer. Yes. I want us to talk. Amazing. I want us to talk about your creep of a guy. Are you getting me? What about him? I don't like him. <laughs> he don't like me, that's your problem. Huh? Yes. I mean, I want you to quit. I don't like that guy. He's not your type. Come to think of it. Why would daddy tell his friends? Introducing a creeper as a son-in-law. I can't believe this. Linda, it's like you don't have anything important to do. To say, if you don't like Smith, swallow it, or you start liking him because huh? I love him, and there's nothing you or anybody can do about you it. You call that one love? That's lost. You love that guy out of pity. <laughs> so can we stop it about love? What do you know about love? No, tell me, do you have a boyfriend? Do you even have a mosquito as a boyfriend? You are standing here talking about love. I'd rather die than to have a creep as a boyfriend. <laughs> you turned down the proposal of Kingsley, Stanley and, and Charles because of, of a cripple. <laughs> I can't believe this. Stanley, Kingsley and the other one. You put them together. They will not give me half me. So you love that guy? I love him. Hey, Linda, let me tell you something. That we were born into a wealthy family, mm -hmm. and that you have those two legs that you can freely jump around as you have been jumping, uh -huh. does not make Smith less of a human being. So please, just start liking him. Oh, oh if you care, continue hating him because I love him, and there is no going back. Me, I'm stopping that thing. There is a going back in this position now. I am not for it. That is not your dinner, mommy. So you are wasting your time. That guy your is your business. Family. I am with Smith. He's not coming to this house to see you, mommy or daddy. He's coming to see me. Leave my presence. Huh? Yes, disappear. Because of a Linda! Leave! A cripple! Because of a cripple! Hey! Huh? I'll tell daddy. Don't bother. Nonsense. Even a mosquito, you don't have as a boyfriend. I don't seem to understand what she's been saying. The handicap. If I employ them, what can they do in my company? Can they work in my company? Who's calling me now? Feel your head? No, doctor. Can you feel it now? No. Can you feel this one? No, I can't just feel my legs, doctor. I can't from the, the pains I'm feeling around my waist. 
Do you feel it now? No, Doctor. Well, everything will be fine, okay? Okay, Doctor. Yeah. Are you sure? I promise you we are going to do our best. Alright. Okay, you will be just fine, okay? Okay, Doctor. Mrs. Pelabe, yes, don't be frightened. The good news is that your husband is out of danger. I think he will make it. And the bad news is? The bad news is he will not be able to use his legs again. Oh my God. At least. Not for a year, madam. Doctor, at least he'll be able to regain his legs in due time, right? Uh, well, I cannot give you a hundred percent assurance. It depends on his willingness to work. But rest assured, we will do our best. No, please, do everything you can. Get specialists you know, from home and abroad. I just want my husband back on his heels. As I said, we will do our best, madam. But, working for him depends solely on him, madam. For helping through that. You're welcome. I'll be in the way, doctor. Have a nice day. Do you hear? You have come to look at me in the face and laugh, right? No, sir. I can never do a thing like that. I just came to say I'm very sorry for what happened. No. You are not sorry. You are not. You are happy. I can never be happy over anyone's misfortune, sir. Much less yours. Honestly, I'm very sorry for what happened. Leave. Daddy! I said you should go! You heard him right! Leave! Hold on.
Say it's okay. Just look at me. I can't even go to the toilet by myself. I can't do anything on my own. I say it's okay. No. No, no, it's not okay. Just see. I can't even feel my legs. Ah. Mm. What are you doing here? Haven't I want you never to come here again? Sir, I really don't know why you hate me this much. My present condition is not of my making. It's not of your own making. Whose fault is it? Is it God's fault? No, sir. God does not wish anyone to be disabled. Just some of those things you cannot explain in life. But trust me, I really understand how you feel. Do you? I was in use of my two legs when I was born. I was a very good footballer. I played five matches for the Chino national team. I had a very bright future in football. That's about three years ago. When I had an accident and couldn't walk again. I felt demoralized. And almost like I should commit suicide. But my friends and family members walked me out of that thought and gave me hope and reasons to be alive. The doctor said you you are not permanently disabled. It means you have hopes. You can walk again. You just have to believe. Uh, what did you say that I mean is again? Sing it, sir. Speed. Speed. Honestly, I think I misjudged you. Because since I had this accident, no one, I mean no one has ever told me something sensible as you've just done. It's not okay, Smith. It's not okay. You see, I judge you from your physical, just as I've always done to others. I didn't look deeper. Yet, here you are, encouraging me and building my morals. It's okay, sir. You just need to believe that all will work. So, but do you believe you can walk again? Mm -hmm. It's possible. Yes, I do. I do believe. Yeah. Jennifer, get the recorders. See, sir. So, just believe, sir, you will actually walk again. You need to be strong. Okay, thank you, but I don't think it's possible. Good. Now, drop those crutches. I don't 
everything is possible. Grab them. It's possible. You can do it. Grab them. And walk out of that wheelchair. Come on. Beautiful. Beautiful. Come on. That's it. You're almost there. Won my father's heart. <clears throat> what do you mean? You know, he never really approved of you, yet you help him out. You uplifted his spirit. Maybe it's normal. You know, myself, when I had the accident, I was told I'll never walk again. I was really demoralized. I felt like committing suicide. But thank God, I have a friend who actually helped me out. And I think I'm only trying to play my own part of it by helping your father. I just pray the man understands and accommodate the situation. That's why I love you, honey. That single action is going to change so many things. And I think my father is going to look at the world differently now. <laughs> Especially now that he's beginning to like you. <laughs> Uh, baby, come here. Love you.
It happened to me as you could have happened to me. I don't I have, don't have a space for people like you when I come back home. People like us. Like yes. yes, yes. I mean the I mean disabled. disabled. I've seen shoe men that are disabled. People can also go and, also go and try, that. try that. Or better still, go and learn, go and learn how, how to how need dresses. Need dresses. Those are the Those kind are the of kind activities, of activities I, think I think are suitable for people like you. Like you. I really want, want to enjoy the trade. What? What? Look at, look at. Their peace can't condition this a barrier. Before I go, I want to start the you are more than a barrier to there today. You are more than a barrier. How will you feel if you are in their condition? Well, fortunately for me, I'm not in their condition. And I will never be. You are a wicked man, Mr. Bellas. You are a very wicked man. A very wicked man, Mr. Bellas. You are a 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 wicked man,
I meet and talk with at least one of the influential persons in this country. That's good! Look at it. It's nice now. That's good. Uh -huh. You are there talking, Mr. Pelave. That's good, Mr. Pelave. Since you have never talked here, okay, you have talked today. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy. Yes, very that's happy. good, Mr. Pelave. You are a good man, Mr. Pelave. You are a good friend to us now. You are a good man, Mr. Pelave. Yeah. You are a good man. Yes. yes. This is a good man. He's a good man. He's a good man. He's talking well now. Yeah. Yeah. You are a good man, Mr. Pelave. Let me see to learn from you. You are a good man. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Pelave. You are a good man. You are a good man, Smith. Yes, sir. I just invited you to tell you that I'm sorry the way I treated you the first day you came here. No, sir. You don't need to be. Of course, I have to. I haven't been good to you at all. You see, if I'm able to walk today, it is partly thanks. You. you gave me all the advice and encouragement I needed. In fact, you stood by me the way any other son would have stood by his father. I will never forget that the first steps I took with my crutches were thanks to you. You made me believe that. I can make it through. Now, come here. Jennifer, you two come closer. Give me your hands. Whatever two of you have in mind, you have my blessings. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Sweet. Yes, you said you studied journalism and mass communication, right? Yes, sir. Good. I need somebody who will be in charge of the communication department of my company. If you're interested? <laughs> of course, I'm interested. Good. If you're interested, then you have the job. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. Since your accident, you have become a very changed person. You are right, Honorable. I am different. Actually, I am a different person now. I can't understand you any longer. You see, Honorable, you, I, and many people out there have been living our lives as if we are the only persons on earth that matter. I still don't get you. Honorable, what I'm trying to say is that there are many people out there who need our help desperately. They have been crying and pleading for our assistance, but we get deaf ears to their cry. Who are these people, you may ask? I'm talking about people living with disability. You can't just imagine what they are going through. In fact, I have been there. I know what it means. <laughs> Mr. Pelave, you are still there. <laughs> Honorable. This is not a loving matter. We need to use all the resources within our disposal to help these people. Remember, nobody ever applied to be born us or to become a disabled. I can feel it. Honorable, you can't even feel me as yet. The events of the past six months have changed me to a different person today. We need to do something for these people. We need to build a more inclusive society. A society where people will not longer be judged from their physical look, 
but rather be judged from their capabilities. A society where everybody will have equal right and opportunity. You are right, Mr. Pelabi. Besides, they could be our children. They could be our mothers, our brothers, our relations. They could be us. You are not talking, Honorable. You are not talking. I think I will have to lobby with some of my colleagues, parliamentarians, so that we could try to see that there is some legislation in the House to protect the people living with disabilities. Thanks very much, Honorable. I knew you will not be insensitive about that. Uh, most so honorable, I think we need to see into it that all those living with disability have easy access into all government buildings, all banks, all council buildings, and why not private buildings? That's something. You see, from your experience, I begin to ask myself, what happens if someday I may find myself being pushed around in a wheelchair. How do I access my home? Does it? How do I get into my own office? Or with a seal, how do I welcome a relation of mine who is being pushed in a wheelchair if easy access is not provided? There is something that we have to do at the level of the National Assembly such that we preempt these situations by first of all providing for those who are already in that situation. Thank you very much. Just like what happened to me recently, I never believed, I mean I never believed that it could ever happen to me. Now just look at my legs. If someone had told me some months back that something like this could happen to me, honestly, I wouldn't have believed it.
public and private sector. That's good! Mr. Pella! That's it, Mr. Pella! Mr. Pella! as a symbol of love and appreciation for what you have done for the disabled. I will mobilize my friends, the youth, to join you to fight for the rights of the disabled. I will become a politician so I can be able to change the laws of this country and favor the disabled. Oh, mama, please don't cry. I will give you my full strength and support in the fight. I am not crying. I am shedding tears of joy because God has answered my prayer. Ah, magnificent is your name. 